I'm sure you know someone who is very obviously not very intelligent and he is a hundred times more successful than you are. And I'm sure you also know someone that is way smarter than you are, yet this person hasn't achieved anything whatsoever. Why is that? Well, I think I've started to understand why and I just wanted to share that with you. And I think that can also help you to actually be more successful as it is definitely helping me. When you look at the map of consciousness, the highest states on the map of consciousness, they're enlightenment, they're love, joy. They aren't necessarily states that are inherently correlated to intelligence. And another thing that's, that's mentioned very often is that authenticity is the highest frequency. And at least in my mind, I, I like to very much align authenticity as something that automatically puts you in these very, very high states of consciousness. Now, when you are in a elevated state of consciousness, right, with the, the highest state being enlightenment, what do you think an enlightened being does? I think an enlightened being is completely in flow. And what that means is an enlightened being doesn't think whatsoever. They're just completely absorbed in the moment. And I've mentioned this example a few times in different videos, but essentially when you are at your happiest, when you remember moments when you were at your happiest, you were very likely not thinking anything. I'm pretty much, I can guarantee you that, that you weren't thinking anything in that specific moment. When you are a very intelligent individual, you have a lot of thoughts, you think through a lot of different things. And this is both a huge strength and a huge weakness. The huge strength is, right, you can analyze things better. You can understand how things correlate. The problem is that most things are just stupidly simple and we just overcomplicate them way too much. And so if you're very intelligent, the chances of you overthinking many, many things is extremely high. Whereas the person that is dumber, they might not understand things as well, but the things that they do understand, they just take action on. They don't overthink all of this. And the problem is that most things are just really simple. Most strategies, most ways to you know, build a, a big business or provide a lot of value to people, it's not that difficult. It's the actual problem is that most people aren't doing the things that they need to be doing. Now, I guess the other side of this is that for a lot of people who are, let's say, dumber, they aren't as high on the, they're, they're as developed in their consciousness in general to where they see the opportunities available to them, which is why they might not take action on them. But the people who see the opportunities that are available to them, they in fact do not overthink anything. They just take raw action and then they just keep it stupid simple, but they stay consistent. Those are generally people that absolutely crush it in many areas. Now, obviously you have different people who have both this side and they have the smarts and those are like the Elon Musks and like, you know, the truly lethal people in the world. But especially if you don't operate in a very complex environment, right? Purely off of your, your pure authenticity, your pure being, pure being present in the moment and flowing. That is way more powerful than any type of, you know, big brain thinking you can be doing. And so a big transformation for myself I wouldn't call myself a genius or whatever, but I do think I'm decently intelligent at least, is to just stop thinking so much and to stop strategizing and planning and being in my head and just turning all of that off. And it's become very interesting for me that when I notice that I think a lot, my internal conversation has immediately been, ah, you are thinking, you're not flowing, you're not present. You need to be pushing harder 
to where you're, you're thinking or whatever, it's not even really happening. You want to be so present, so much in flow, taking so much action that the next time you look up, you're pretty much already at your goals. That's really it. And obviously, if you want to, at the end of the day, kind of review, reflect, have like a weekly session to really think, okay, this is what's working well. This is what's not working well. There's a really fine balance you can find in there. But I, at this point, really believe that it's way better to just take the action rather than just trying to think your way through things and trying to solve them that way. Because very often the work works more on you than you work on it and the work will reveal the solution that you need. I'm very curious what you guys think about this if you have like different perspectives because it's obviously, there's not very much like a science-based, like very much validated point for me, but I think this is a very valid observation. I'll be curious to what you guys are thinking. So hope this is helpful.